Hello, my name is Lisa Nagel and I am an online student at Full Sail studying to earn my bachelor's degree in computer animation. Uh, public speaking and presentation can be a significant tool in my field, uh, whether it's to present ideas to a director or even an entire team of artists or animators. Uh, so it's, it's definitely in the cards and it's going to be a part of the job without a doubt. Um, and for that reason, it's extremely important to learn about 21st century presentation. Uh, computer animation is all about communicating with an audience um, from one end of the spectrum to another, whether you know I have to uh, present an idea or um, draw people into, um, into an animation you know, that they're watching. I'm basically presenting acting that I've created and I'm presenting ideas to my team. Um, so this class is definitely going to be invaluable in that sense. Um, ancient uh, public speaking uh, was more formal and dry, and put people to sleep and you know they used a lot of slides and bullet points and redundancy and, and it, was, it was just boring. Um, to me, modern public speaking is about telling a story and the human-to-human -human connection on an emotional level, and um, and it's about you know doing the opposite, uh, waking people up, getting them excited to learn, and, and actually wanting more. Um, so uh, it's 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 definitely it's definitely important. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure what presentation problems I have. Uh, I've written reports and things like that, but I can't remember the last time I stood up in front of an audience or recorded a podcast of myself speaking. Um, so I can say that I don't really remember points very well, so I'd love to learn how to remember everything. Um, so that can be <laughs> that can be uh, on my on my list. Um, my goals for this month are to relax and lose some anxiety and fear. I don't like talking to people, um, don't like talking in front of people, um, so I'm not quite sure how to do that, but I'm definitely going to try. Um, my second goal is to learn how to excite people. I want to get people to ask me questions. I don't want people to, I don't want to have to say, are there any questions? I want people to come to me. I want people to just ask. I want, uh people to see me as credible and knowledgeable and um, and I think the only way to do this is to is to uh, ask questions and, and watch and learn and practice. Um, my third goal is to appear professional. I'm an articulate person but I want to learn what separates an intelligent person from the ones who look like they were meant to be on a stage or in front of a camera. Um, and I think the only way to do any of these things, all my goals are kind of like a watch and learn type of goal, um, is to take in every single, every single podcast that we're given, every example, um, watch my instructor, ask questions, you know, these sort of things. So um, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how I progress uh, from week one to week four. Uh, I tried to use an environment that was as professional as I could. I used um, a blank wall and um, I added some some lamps and uh, I sat down in a chair because I was trying to avoid my many Italian hand gestures um, and I did my best to lock myself in a room far away from my two noisy children so um, I did my best and like I said we'll we'll see how I do from weeks one to week four it's been a pleasure <laughs>